Hey everyone, so we are in Virginia now. Stop. that helps with the mounted um, squad down in Richmond, Virginia. And it's all, all, most all the proceeds go to helping the police and everything around here. So it's a really good cause. Um, we've been going here, I guess, probably about a little, like I think early over three years now. Um, fourth year. I think it was our fourth year, yeah. And this one is not sanctioned. Sometimes they've sanctioned it, sometimes they've not. This one is not sanctioned today. So we're just going to have a fun day at barrel racing. Actually, a fully loaded trailer, so it's against Mike and I and little Reba in the back. I actually am bringing Hollywood today, who I wasn't sure if I was going to bring or not. I decided this week that he's already here, we're already going. Why not throw him on the trailer and do him as an add on? So he's running today. And the big thing of today is this is Boo's first run back since July, and I have no idea what to expect. We are draw, oh, no, I forget, I think we're like 26 or 28 or something like that we pre-registered so we got in the pre-draw we also have Allie who's actually in front of us in their trailer right there um with Cookie and this will be her first time running Cookie quote unquote running um Cookie's not quite up there ready to run with a lot of speed yet but like I've talked in the past when I brought her to the one show I like to kind of just get these horses going getting used to everything and figured why not so she's entering her today and then we also have Ember with Dallas on their way who's also running. So they're gonna run in the open in youth. I'm running both Boo and Hollywood in the open and carrying both of them to the middle today also. So it's gonna be a fun day. It's supposed to be decent weather. It's really dreary and foggy out. We had a lot of rain yesterday, but it's actually supposed to be in like the 50s and get almost to the 60s today. So at least we have decent temps. So we're not gonna be freezing for once. A couple of races that we've been here before, especially the one, I didn't end up running until like 9.30 that night and it was very cold and we were not expecting to be there that long. So that was a miserable time, but it's a fun time. We got all our OE hats that have a little blue flag on them. We match in my little earrings. So it's gonna be a fun day. It's a good cause and we'll see how everyone does today. Wow, oh, what a day. We are on our way. He just likes to make fun of me. You're gonna see a lot of him in the videos now because every time I do these, he just makes fun of me. But we're on our way home now, and it was a super, super successful day. Um, we had a little issue with Allie and Cookie, but Elle's good now. <laughs> Mostly just greenness on both their parts, and um, but everything was fine. And actually, Cookie had some really, really good exhibitions. They rode around really good. Um, worked with some trailering stuff with her today, so it was actually a really good day for Cookie and learning stuff and everything. Um, but the run wasn't what we were hoping, but we will see what happens next time. So, and these two are just kind of starting to do stuff together. So it's going to take a little bit, but here is what, how Ember's run went before we show all the things I did. Brooke. 
There you go. Good. Nice. Get around there. Good. You push. Sabu totally blew me away. She really felt amazing this run. I kind of let her run to the first. She, I thought she got past it more than it looked in the video, but I guess she really didn't get that far past it. She just got a little slow on that, but she's really working on that first barrel. Her second and third are great. Her third, honestly, was so tight. I was a little worried <laughs> coming out of it if we were gonna knock it or not, but she ran a 16.6 and it was holding in the top of the 3D for a good while before we left. Um, I believe right before we left, someone ran, I think then a 15.3. So we're still, still sitting in the 3D, but probably out of the money. Um, but I'm not sure on the results yet because we wanted to get going and they were almost done. So hopefully they'll post results later. But for her first run back in five months from an injury and even though we've been rehabbing and doing all this stuff, we haven't done a ton of barrel work. I've done a couple of slow things with her at home and just kind of like just been working on getting her fit. Michael will attest to this. I was crying a little bit beforehand, just happy to be running her again. Um, had an emotional moment getting ready to go and just being nice to get on her, but she was so ready to work today. Her exhibitions, she was just really wanting to run. Um, they went pretty good. She was just a little more like all over the place just because she was more excited than like focused. But she, like even going into the arena today, she was just like all business and ready to make a run. So it just felt so good having her back in the, the pen again and she really laid down probably one of our nicest runs yet um period let alone in this pen so I was really really happy with that and um like so over the moon I can't even figure out how I feel about it but she did so so good so then that was all the pre-draws and then Hollywood and I were 68 and I think there was like 130 today so here's how Hollywood did in his run come bro Are you good? You're good. Nice. Let's go around. There you go. Good. So Hollywood, not going to lie, scared me a little bit at the first. We had a decent little slip going into it. And, um, he was able to keep his footing underneath of him and he just kind of popped right back up and kept going. So I let him run. And um, he ran just behind Boo with a 16.7. So she ran a 16.6 and he ran a 16.7. So um, I kept joking before I was running him. I was like, who's going to have the bragging rights on the trailer on the way home? And apparently Boo wanted to win that race. So he did really, really good. We really redeemed ourselves from last weekend's race from hitting the knock barrels. He felt really, really good. And I'm just really happy to end on a really good note with him because this is our last race together. Um, he'll go back home in the next couple of weeks. He's gonna get his shoes pulled for the winter, get a couple little bit more spoiling, and then he'll go back to his mom um, to have off probably mostly through the winter. So we had a really good run to end on. Like, and he ran a 16.7. The ground, I felt it was a little bit slower today. Um, he ran like a 16.2 here last time. Again, granted, granted he had a little slip, but a lot of the times were a little bit slower today. So the ground was just a hair slow, but everyone really did really, really good. And I couldn't be happier with how the horses performed today. Again, I've never, it's been a while since I've ran two horses, especially kind of back to back like this. And it was like kind of funny. It's like the last time these two were on a trailer together is when they were coming to the east from Missouri as babies. So it was kind of cool to have them both on the trailer, both going the race. And they ran like back to back like that. Um, they ran such a good time. So it was a really, really good day. I couldn't be happier with how the horses did. They all did really good. Um, it was really decent weather. It's been kind of like humid and hazy all day, but it was actually warm. So none of us were freezing sitting around and um, we'll hopefully get back before it gets too dark and too late. So it was just a super successful day. I'm really proud of all the horses. And again, I couldn't be happier with how Boo did with her first run back. So it was a good place to end going into 2024 and we'll see what happens through the winter.